Hello, everybody. We are back. My name is William Hurst, as always, the host of the I've Got Questions podcast and this illustrious new Super League. Uh, today, we are joined by the one, the only, um, Mr. DiBiase. Not, not Ted, though. He doesn't have all the money. Uh, he's not the million-dollar man, but he does have a set of iron lungs. He's ready to talk. Mr. Chris DiBiase, how are we doing today? I'm doing great, Will. Thanks for having me. Uh, Looking forward to another great match. Uh, This league is awesome, and I can't wait to get into it. Oh, boy. We are back here in Pod B. Um, Today, we are watching Artie, uh, Soldier of Fortune on Magic Online. He's going up with his uh, Red Green Ponds deck against uh, the one and only Ricky Thorson. Um, another prison master extraordinaire on his white deck, uh, white prison deck. Um, hearing kind of those ideas, those general ideas before we see deck lists, who do you think is favored? I would have to assume the LD deck. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're, you're, Ricky's strategies, prison strategies in general are, are pretty land heavy. All right, so, oh, here we go. Let's get into our, our, our red green list here. Um, so classic uh, threshold uh, package of creatures, Nimble Mongoose, Terrivore Werebear. Um, you know, we've got a land destruction package here. Uh, not as heavy as some other decks, but we've got the three rays, two stone rain, uh, and that could potentially cause some problems for Ricky. Um, how are you feeling about this match? Um, I used to love decks like this. I loved me a stone rain. This is a little bit outside of pre-modern, but I, play, I loved playing kind of the... Um, the Boros aggro decks that had like flagstones of Trokir and um, all of those sorts of things. Uh, so I love me some play early creature, destroy land. Um, I think um, judging in this matchup, Devastating Dreams can be a card in this matchup. Just, I think, a devastating card. Um, and again, with Wastelands, Ports, uh, I think we're going to see the prison side of this deck possibly really shine through. Uh, the sideboard um, additionally can be good. Yep. Um, Ricky, on, as we'll see in his white prison deck, a lot of naturalized targets. Yep. A lot of things he can hit. Crumble. Crumbles. Um, I, I think once Artie figures out what might be going on, he's going to be very sure. happy with this matchup. Yep. Uh, I think he's got a lot of tools here. Uh, the land destruction package plus the wastelands plus the ports. Um, you know, as we see, when, when we take a look at Ricky's deck, a lot will depend on how much of his mana production comes down to his lands and, and how much acceleration can get out of some artifacts. Uh, at least in game one, game two, that could be a risk, as I'm sure Artie will, uh, will counterbalance with his board. Exactly. Um, and then as far as the creature matchups, I mean, or the creatures in this deck. Uh, Terravor, we know, is the creature of the moment. He is the yep. Taylor Swift of Free of Modern. He is everywhere, winning all the awards, getting all the attention. Uh, next thing he has to do, he just has to start dating a famous athlete, and he's going to be okay. Um, but uh, Nimble Mongoose in this matchup, he can't be swords. He can't be touched. And no. if, if, uh. if, if Ricky's deck is mono-white, Outside of a Wrath of God, well, what you gonna do when the mongoose comes for you? I don't know. I'm gonna say if Terravor is the is the Taylor Swift of this, then the nimble mongoose is certainly the Tracy Chapman. Uh, she is frankly untouchable. Yeah, there it is. I love it. Um, for those of you who get that reference, bravo. Um, but yes, I think nimble mongoose can be. Like, if he goes, like, Nimble Mongoose, raise you, and then, like, Stone Rain you, I think the matchup's over. Um, all right, so here's uh, Ricky's deck, known as Thursday is God on yep. uh, Moto. Uh, Ricky, a prison player, um, really playing a really awesome white prison deck right now. This is kind of that first iteration of it. Has a little bit of splashiness to it, but <coughs> it has things, um, as you were alluding to, Mind Stones. It has um, Thran Dynamo. Dynamo. A lot of targets to blow up. He play now. He plays really, really cool things like Armageddon, which That's- Nimble Mongoose is like cool yeah, story, sure. bro. Yes, bring, it, bring it on. Yes, absolutely. Come on in. Yeah, this um, is tricky. <sighs> 
now you know he does have creatures that can potentially outclass you know what is going on in the threshold deck right you know exalted angel if it's active blocks for days um you know eternal dragon is a house uh, you know, the decree tokens can go wide, and certainly pre-board uh, already has no answer for that. I think, you know, the Mind Zones and the Thrandimos give him a little bit of an edge in game one, because they kind of dodge some of that land destruction if he can get them online. But again, in game two, those are those become a liability, right? Because you can mm -hmm. be looking at a Wasteland report and then a Crumble, and now you're really, really struggling, uh, because this deck just needs mana to function. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Um, and then, I mean, I he has the two Phyrexian Furnaces main, which can certainly help as well. That's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, an early, an early one of those uh, can definitely change the dynamic of the match because you're really then looking at a, it's a pile of 1-1s, one um, essentially, mm -hmm. uh, at least for quite a while. Um, just taking one more look over this list. And, and um, we're looking at his uh, sideboard. There's not... There's not a lot in this board that's really exciting in this matchup, I suppose. Artie's got Wrath. I mean, yes, he's got Wrath, but you got to get four mana to Wrath, sure, right? Sure. <laughs> yep, you do. Uh, you do. You do. Uh, you know, again, Call of the Herd's not terrible. Um, it it blocks, you know, your your mongooses, but but you don't have that problem in this deck. You've got other things to do that, but there aren't a lot of things that line up nicely. Uh, against what Artie's trying to do. Uh, so on paper, it feels like you know Artie has the edge strategically. It's it's attacking some of the axes that that Ricky's going to need to have online to make that deck function. Um, and you could imagine, you know, if he leads on, you know, Ancient Tomb. See if trade, you know, it gets punished for that. Uh, uh, this could go sideways pretty quickly. Yeah. But then again, uh, Ricky knows, you know, Ricky knows the style deck inside out. Um, so we'll see where where he can take it. Absolutely. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the match here. See who's on the play. Looks like uh, Artie Soldier of Fortune on the bottom. Um. Well, on the top. Sorry. Um. Looks like uh. Already is going to be on the play. There's no colored sources, so he's going to take a mulligan. Um, that hand looks slightly better. Um, Ricky here on the bottom. That's that's probably a keepable hand. He's got some ports. He's got a sword to deal with a creature, and he can lead into a windborne muse. I think he's happy with that hand. I think so too. All right, Artie is going to go ahead and kick us off after he resolves his mulligan. Um, bidding the lightning bolt, uh, leading us off with a treetop village. Uh, so, how are we thinking these are going to line up initially? Pretty slow start, but um, it is a slow oh, start. That's going to be a mox yep. diamond, though, into a stone rain. Yep, that's going to be rough. Uh, and hindsight, or at least our perfect vision, shows that there are no other colored sources for um, for yep. Ricky currently. So this could be bad news bears. It could be. And if he didn't have, it, even if he didn't have the stone rain, as soon as he recognizes that Ricky only has the one white source, you know, port does a lot of work. Um, exactly. All right, so he leaves with the port. He's going to go ahead and dump that wooded foothills for a beautiful Mox Diamond, and uh, the plains yep. is going to be hit with a deadly shower of rocks. Yep, and that's just, again, already can't see, obviously, what, what Ricky's got going on, but that is really rough. Um, he and is just a, falling. Yeah, yeah fallen I mean, way behind. There's a city of traders, but it's like... What are you going to do? Um, there's a wasteland. Bye-bye, yeah, City of Traders. Is... Play where, bear? Okay. 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 Uh, so all going according to plan for Artie. Yeah, this is just... This, this is rough. It's, 
this is a smackdown if you could ever call anything a smackdown like now he's gonna have a port on him and so so i will say right this is where and obviously he hasn't drawn one yet but where you know eternal dragon becomes you know valuable um Mm -hmm. if he can get one online to to you know to really get a um get a white source going. Yep. The thing is though, yep. he's just again so far behind. Yep. Um he's he's facing another port that's gonna if he ever does get a white source, it's gonna make it rough because he's just gonna port yep. the white source. Yeah. Right, that um, Armageddon's essentially a dead card. Yeah, Werebear is saying, please arm again in me. That's okay. Yep. Um Treetop Village is gonna go ahead and slap in there for three. Um, let's see a port to port. Yep. All right. That's a Thran Dynamo. Uh, still no colored sources. Nope. Uh, plenty of mana. Yep. So in theory, I mean, yeah, again, Armageddon doesn't do anything. Windborn Muse is kind of an interesting card. It really slow it things is. down. That's a bit Terravore, though. Yep. How does without, Ricky pull out of this matchup, Chris? He needs white sources. <laughs> that, that, that's, that, that, I, the problem is it doesn't. He can produce an incredible amount of mana, right? If he, if he, you know, he has the ability to theoretically produce a lot of mana. He can't do anything with it right now. Um, mm-hmm. That stone ring was was incredibly clutch. Um, you're hoping to rip a white source to to knock out Terravore, and. Man, no white source again. That's nope. nope. The our life for a so marble they, diamond. Yeah, seriously, you're not wrong. Um, There's just not a lot of these able to do here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's scary. Terry is getting a big boom boom going on here. Do you cycle this mindstone and hope to find a white source for a sword? You know, at a certain point, you're going to have to. It's just a matter of at what point do you feel it's necessary. He's like, how many turns can you go? Um, that's the... Right, so, yep. Yeah, that's the Exalted Angel, which is, you know, it, it's something on the board. But again, to flip it, you need double wipe. So you're you he's still a long, long, long ways away from having that card being particularly impactful. Yeah, no, I agree. Right, tree, Treetop tramples over it. Terravore tramples over it. He has no need to send the werebear in. Yeah. I mean, this is just a combination of great timing on the Stone Rain and just yep. bad luck on the not drawing a white source. Yep. Um, there's not much Ricky can feel bad about or do about in this matchup. He just plays the spells that he gets out and sure. crosses the fingers. Yeah, I think this is tough too. You know, you 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 don't necessarily know your opponent is running land destruction. The hand was reasonable. Um, there's no there's not a lot of cheap cards in this deck. So so mm-hmm. you know if you've got if you've got lands and spells, you kind of have to roll with it and, and hope that the the raw power of what you're casting is going to get you there. Um, but I think this matchup may have been over the moment that planes got sent to the yard. Yeah, it certainly set it back to the point where it was just tougher. All right. Um, that tree top's going to come in and yep. smashy, smashy. And, you know. Tap. Yeah, I think the real question is that do you block at some point? With the trampler, there's not much incentive. Um, and now you have a second tree top coming down. Yeah. Uh, tap your stuff. Yep. If there's no white source, yeah, that's – he's got to find that's a white it. source right here. Nope, that's it. Nope. All right, uh, uneventful game one, um, the Stone Rain being Stone Rain and getting the white source didn't draw it. Looks like Ricky is going to go ahead and get some winter orbs out, uh, the Stroke of Genius, a Decree out. Uh, Disenchant looks like it might come – well, Wrath of God is going to come in. Yep. Uh, disenchant. 
and maybe a call of the herd. Slim down the mana curve a little bit. How do you feel about the disenchant coming in? I mean, if he's on the play and he can get a mox diamond, that sounds fine. Um, I mean, maybe he's expecting some. He saw Terravor. Maybe he's he expecting ter- some. Maybe he's expecting some type of oath. Maybe. Um, but in that case, I'd much rather have the ray of revelation. I guess if you're expecting more enchantments. Yep. Uh, looks like he brought in a Zurin orb as well. That way, he can at least gain some value off any. Land sure. being exploded. I apologize for that. Gonna get a yeah, I think a big issue that. a big issue that you had noted earlier is there just aren't a lot of great cyborg cards for this matchup uh, in Ricky's board. Um, and so, you know, you're kind of picking and choosing what you can get in there to offset what you have to get out that's not doing anything. And if you're gonna be losing some lands anyway, you know, sort of could possibly play a role. Mm-hmm. All right, so and let's uh, take a look here. What Ari's got going on? Yeah, Artie, on the other hand, has a plethora of yeah, options. he does. Yeah, he does. Yep, just <laughs> yeah, just, just yep. highlight that whole pile. Yep, that's good. Right, we've got uh, two crumble, two naturalize. Yeah, mul- mulch. We don't care that much. Don't take out the mongoose. Mongoose seems insane. Don't <laughs> Artie. Don't do it. Uh, lightning bolt seems very lackluster in this matchup. You know the only the only value to the lightning bolt is the ability. So, so one thing that Ari's deck can't really deal with easily is an exalted angel that is sure. not morphed, right? And so there is some potential value if you- because. because you know, because Ricky's deck can produce so much mana, right? I could easily see it going, you know, easy turn three into turn four, and you might have that window to clear it. Um, yeah. I mean, do you take out the Savage Twister? He saw the decree discarded, so I, I guess. I think that's the it logic in. there. Although at that point. Uh, I don't agree with taking out that Nimble Mongoose. Yeah, you put that back, Artie. Atta boy. I don't know about taking out naturalizes. Yeah. I, I think I, I I think I pull the natural uh, I think I pull the bolts before I pull the naturalizes, but because you can just do so much you know, if you can control the mana and take out, you know, a Thran Dynamo, you really Yeah. Alright. Well I mean, Yeah, we'll see. So, Ricky doesn't really have a great you know, he doesn't have a great card advantage engine to 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 recoup this stuff. Um, mm-hmm. yep. um, he is on the play, though, which is nice because he's yep. going to be able to mox diamond and port or something. Yep. Um, he, has a, he has also mox diamond means he'll have multiple white sources. He will. Uh, though this raise might be a little painful. Maybe. We'll have to see. I don't know. Turn one wear bear, then raise. That feels pretty good to me. Uh, yeah. That is what we're going to see happen. Mr. Bear on the field. Yep. Um, let's see here. I mean, Seal of Glensing can take out that Mox Diamond, which is That's the pretty, craziest I mean, thing in the world. It's not. I mean, if you can use Seal of Cleansing, you know, you've got, uh, you've got some options here. Mm-hmm. I'll see how this goes. Down. Right, the other option, you know, the other option here is you, you, you know, play the morphed uh, angel. But I think this might be the right play. Yeah. Puts him down. He's at three cards. Likelihood not having a great amount of mana. Draws some mana. Um. Hmm. Is there any interest in? Raising, sacrificing your fetch? No, not at all. Uh, well, okay, we're gonna see a devastating. Yeah, we here. are. Yeah, I think he's he's thinking we're we're gonna try and hit threshold quick, and we're going to see what he's got in the tank. But I'll say, you know, 
He's got the Mox Diamond. He's got an Ancient Tomb. He, he's got yeah. stuff to play. Oh, and that's right. Because of how timing works, that Werebear doesn't die. <laughs> nope. Does nope. not. That is a 4-4. Four, four, um, yep. Okay, that's going to put a, a serious clock on Ricky. He needs to draw yes, swords. He needs to draw quickly. Um, please, please. Just... Yeah. But see, now we're back to the same problem we were at before, right? In that he, he is now again down to a single white source. Yes. Um, I mean, if he hits the white source, he's going to be sitting yeah, pretty. It, yes, he will. If he hits this white source, he's in a great spot because it will block that. that the werebear is not getting any larger. No, it is not. I mean, and Artie is all in on this werebear. Like, that, that is the plan. I mean... Let me ask you a question. Do you, do you morph the second one and thread the double block? Yeah. you ab If you don't hit a white source, you absolutely do. Because Artie cannot afford at all to lose this waiver. He, like, he, he cannot. Can't. Nope. So this, this does buy him some time, right? If he hits a second... Right, that stone rain's not going to do him any good right now. I mean, it will if he gets a second land. Um, and that will be mm -hmm. absolutely crushing uh yeah um, but ricky's gotta be careful too with the ancient tomb you know that he he he's you know he's in the danger zone he is uh soldier of fortune you can attack i can i don't think he can't be thinking about attacking here that just gives that just gives uh ricky so much time I it's would be surprised a, if Artie swings here. I mean, I, I guess you I don't think you can. I don't think you can. If you swing, you're down to your mountain and a stone rain against your opponent who has, you know, three mana active and can, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of even. He's ahead on the, he's got mana on the board and you do not. Um, because he's swinging. Yeah. He, he thought about it. He, <laughs> I know fortune favors the bold, but this might be too bold. Don't. Mm. I mean, I think what you have to do is play the mountain. If you're going to do that attack, you have to play the mountain before combat and threaten like you have a lightning bolt yep. in your hand. Yep, you do. You do. Uh, that's a core haven. That stops a wear bear. It does. So he's going to have to core haven. He has to core haven and then play this Thrawn Dynamo because I don't like that. I think he has to take one more. He has to take. Yeah, he needed to play the Thrawn Dynamo now. Yep. I mean, Zern Orb gains him to life. Why? I mean, the core haven, I think he doesn't want to expose to a stone rain. But by not playing, you're falling behind. You're never yep. going to deploy this Thran Dynamo, right? I think he did this a turn late. I think he needed to do that last turn. Yep. Uh, Thran Dynamo out. Um, so in the advantage now of having the Thran Dynamo is if, if he loses that Ancient Tomb, it doesn't matter. He, he doesn't have to worry about the Ancient Tomb, you know, the life loss. Um, oh, that's a crumble and stone. Oh, rain? that's uh, well. He can only do one of them. I, I still gonna give him. So there goes the white source. Yep. And but he uh, still really can't afford to attack. There's no well, that Armageddon. Yep. All he needs to do is find a pyroclasm, though. Yep. Uh, so Stone Rain, the Core Haven, I would assume. Yeah, I think you Stone Rain, the Core Haven. I mean, guess Ricky gains two life. I don't know about not Stone Raining that Core Haven. I mean, you're going to tap it, I guess. Yeah. That's a windborn muse. Ricky just needs to find white mana. Like, by all... Oh, that's a Terry. 
Hi, yeah. Terry. It, this might just have gone away from him at this point. Yeah. White source? A little late. No, uh, he's got well, one, but... Well, do that. Play the Windborn Muse. Muse. Know, that's, it doesn't matter. Well, Windborn the, Muse yeah, can the, at least... Block. Block? Nice. <laughs> Uh, the other issue yeah, here is he's gonna he, he he gets one crack with this planes. Yeah, Sin, because already didn't stone me on the last turn. That white source is it, you know you can be getting rid of that white source. Um, yeah. Um, would assume he, we stone rain the white source, and Ricky is gonna go to that's a double port. He might not even have to stone rain with this double port. You're right. He might not. I still think, I still think you do it because you you stone rain, you stone rain the white source. You swing with Terry after you play your Rashad and port, force him to chump. The other argument here for for the stone rain of the white source versus uh, porting it is that if he. I mean, he may not have enough time for this to matter, but if he rips the second white source, then on his next upkeep, the porting is not going to matter. He can still flip an angel. Um, what, is he, what is he tapping? Oh, no, he paid for the windboard moose. I'm He's sorry. paying for it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, that, that, is, that is the issue here, too, is that if you've got one big, big, chonky guy, you don't have to worry too much about having to pay. Yeah, block with one angel. I don't know about blocking right here. I almost think you sacrifice that ancient tomb and just gain life to stay alive instead of sacrificing an angel yet. Yeah, and you're not going. You're not going to use that ancient tomb at this point. Yeah. Um, incoming land. Stone rain your white source, or are we just we're just going to tap the white source. Okay. Yep. Okay. See, that's that's risky right there. Like, what if he had a swords in his hand? Yep. That that okay. That was gutsy play. Gutsy plays. Uh, this eternal dragon, pretty pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, another planes. Yep. Ah, uh, sacrificing your white source. Are you Armageddoning? I guess. I guess you Armageddon, and he can't draw. Can't lands. attack. All right, and that windborne muse can start flying over. All right, Ricky. All right, Ricky. Maybe he's I got like something it. here. Let's go, Ricky. Just hope he doesn't draw two lands. <laughs> Pretty please. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a Mox Diamond. All right. Yep. He's going to... The wind more needs to go like all the way. What's that? The issue here, he only needs to draw one land, though, because he can tap using Werebear. Oh, that's true. He only needs one he can, land. He only needs one land. Crumble's kind of disgusting. Yep. Oh, I don't know about that. He doesn't have any land to sacrifice for that Zern Orb. Why are you not killing the Thran Dynamo? I'm not sure. Well, yeah, um, okay. hi, Terry. Yep. All right. There it is. Um, yep. Ending it out there. Didn't even get to see the whole match there, but we knew it was happening. The, the destruction yep. was evident. Um, tell me what you thought about that match, Chris. You know, I think it, it was unfortunate for Ricky. Um, I think the deck is really cool. I think it has the potential to have legs. Um, and I think in both of these matchups, you know, just getting stranded without sufficient white sources to to cast your business um, 
really put him on the back burner. I think it's a really poor matchup for him um, because really I think Artie had the game plan, right? Keep him off white mana, uh, do your job as, as you as you intend to. Um, and there's not a lot that, that Ricky can do in those situations. Uh, there's just, you know, even when Born Muse is just not that effective against the Terror 4, uh, it doesn't take much mana to, to get through. Um, so, you know, I do I think there may be some questionable plays uh, on Artie's side maybe uh but the the game plan is just so strong that you know that that early stone ring on the planes just just shuts everything else down mm -hmm. exactly um that'll wrap it up for this match guys we've been joined mm -hmm. here by chris dibiase from the magic online society and pod a of this event i've been william hurst we'll catch you in the next match thank you for joining us take care everybody take care